Hello users, and welcome to another episodic installation of Above It All, the series where if I make an Elon Musk video and I get like a few dozen fucking morons telling me how we should be president and writing essays about it, that makes me want to make another Elon Musk video. So first of all, I would just like to provide a trigger warning. This is just because I know that there's going to be people that click on this video that have a hero complex. They have like a fantasy of like sucking Elon Musk's dick every night or whatever. Super bizarre stuff, but that's okay. I don't mind it. Just just so you know, I'm going to be mean to him and I'm going to be mean to Tesla. So just so you know, so you understand, now's your opportunity. Click off the video if you feel that your mental health is at risk. So with that being said, Elon Musk is a fucking idiot and Tesla's fucking stupid. Like, first of all, I just want to say cars, dumb. Like the fact that Tesla is majorly focused on like self-driving cars and electric vehicles, stupid. Like it's just dumb. It's the whole hyper individualized capitalist fucking garbage. Well, you know, like if, if, if Elon Musk were actually a relatively intelligent person, he would advocate for public transit. He would advocate for things that aren't like, you know, like, oh, you got to spend X amount of hundreds of thousands of dollars to get this super fucking rad epic car that no one can afford. And then if, if you can afford it we're gonna tell you it's a, like autopilot capable when it's really not like so here's the situation here someone fell asleep while driving and I, I mean I don't know if they just figured well I can just take a nap because my car can drive itself or whatever but they ended up running into someone and killing them oops right that's a that's a person's life that's over now because fucking Elon Musk and his stupid company don't know how to write auto driving software and that's the thing is like I just don't get the whole thing about auto like autopilot on cars I just don't get it like wouldn't it be way more reasonable instead of spending all of that time and money and effort on something dumb to just spend all that time money and effort on public fucking transit doesn't that make a lot more sense I don't know like for me I'd rather have I'd rather I I trust like a train going across the country more than I trust a fucking computer to drive a car on a busy highway. That's just me though. That's just me. Maybe you disagree. I don't know, but I'm really fucking sick and tired of these like wannabe pretend tech bros that think that Elon Musk is like some fucking genius sent from fucking God when his fucking company sucks. The people that come up with any good ideas in his company are his workers, not him. That doesn't make him smart because he owns someone else's idea. That doesn't make you smart. Like, okay, your family came from fucking apartheid South Africa and therefore that's how you got your billions and then you just hire people who are way smarter than you to come up with ideas that you pretend to have come up with that does not make you smart if you like Elon Musk because he's like a cool talker or something I suggest instead of watching Elon Musk fucking like you know TED talks watch someone like John Carmack talk about like game engines or something it's way more fun it's way more abstract and you don't understand anything so you might as well listen to someone who's actually relatively intelligent talk about entertainment instead of something that you think is revolutionary or like it's going to change society forever because I'm sorry it's not and if it does change society is who is it going to change society for again cars are one of the biggest fucking failures of our entire fucking society the reason why the police state has grown so much is because of cars actually did you know this um the reason why we have things like probable cause is because of cars because of rolling moving personal private property cops needed to invent a way to get inside of that private property so they invented probable cause that is one of the major reasons why the expansion of the police state has become so prevalent in our society because people love property they love having something that's theirs and that basically combined with people not knowing how to drive and getting into traffic accidents all the time made cops go like okay well this can't be private property because it's capable of killing people on accident so many times so we need to find a way to get in there and that's what led to the absolute just corruption and overblowing of the police state so that's one thing i don't like about cars the second thing about cars is they're not not everyone can use them they're too expensive a lot of people don't have cars you know like if, if you if your car breaks down then oops you're just over whereas if a train breaks down then you know at least you're in solidarity with a few thousand people and they can all just not go to work and you know cite another reason or you can just take another train like for example i've lived in a city i lived in washington dc and the metro system although it's not great it's pretty fucking useful you know, I never had to look. I never had to deal with cars in any capacity until I moved to a small town in North Carolina. So it's like, wh why isn't that just everywhere? Like, why? Like, I've I've taken a train from Washington D.C. to Pennsylvania. Why can't I just do that from Washington D.C. to North Carolina? Why can't I do that from North Carolina to Tennessee? 
Why? I don't get it. Like, it's just bizarre to me. It really is. The, f the fact that people just focus on cars so much. Like, I get it. Having, being able to, like, put, like, fucking garbage in the back seat is in enticing, you know? Like, I get it. But I don't know. It's just the society built around cars and, like, this whole, like, ooh, we gotta tech everything up. We gotta have these algorithms that make him self-driving. How about you just learn how to fucking drive, you prick? And also, also, I have no necessarily no issue with an autopilot as, like, a last resort or something. But, uh, like, you need to just, you need to make sure that shit works, man. Like, this guy's dead now. And it's like, I don't know. It's just one of those situations where it's just, I, I don't, I don't like cars. I don't like Tesla. I don't like this hyper focus on, like, algorithms and AI for things like driving cars. I'd rather spend all of that time, money, and on all those resources on something that's actually useful for a majority of people, like public transit. I, you know, even if you want to expand busing systems, like, if you don't want trains, just make it so we can have more capable busing systems or something like we can totally easily repurpose a lot of roads and highway systems with things that are better like train tracks we totally could but we're just not we're just not and that's one of the things is the highway system is one of the biggest subsidies for industries like tesla industries like tesla would not exist like car companies would not exist if it weren't for the hyper subsidization by the government to create highways everywhere before that cars weren't that big of a deal they were a big deal but they weren't that big of a deal to the point where they completely destroyed public transit by proxy of just usurping resources so this is just something i just you know thought i'd make a video about yeah tesla's autopilot kills someone oops we'll see how this goes and uh also public transit is way better look at south korea look at japan look at china they know how to do this shit i'm just saying